I'm gonna be talking about anything up to the Tomb of Sagara, so if you don't want your space octopi spoiled, you better stay away from this video. Or find another Chinese restaurant. Kill Jaden. Kill Jaden. Is, uh, is this a secret code word from Blizz calling for a decrease in the number of living smiths? Listen, Kill. Can I call you Kill? Or perhaps you don't like that word given your recent affairs. <laughs> Oh, kill Jaden. Poor, unlucky kill Jaden. That might be how you see yourself, unlucky, but you haven't exactly done anything to help your luck at all in this expansion. I'm gonna highlight a couple of what I think are his most notable ones in this video. Let's eradicate an Eridar, sunburn his red ass, boil a squid. Let the shadows win! Ah, oh, yeah, well, we're dealing with an angsty teen here. Kill Jaden's full powers lie not within the boundaries of physical and magical ability, but in the mind. His unrivaled cunning placed him first in position in the ranks of the Burning Legion, and so aptly gave him the title of the Deceiver. If being cunning means sending invasions to dismantle the fortress that is Sentinel Hill, or perhaps to wait until the very last moment to send in a fleet of spaceships, then I don't think it's a perk to kill Jaden as a character. Let's uh, trace back a little. Remember Archimonde? He underestimated the power he was facing, thinking just a few fell-infused pets at his side would be enough. But as we all know, they weren't. As I said before, and also in a previous video, you, Kill Jaden, had the full leadership of this invasion based on your control over Gul'dan and your chat with Sargeras on your fell phone. So why did you save so many forces and the very last phase of the invasion instead of just slamming in like a Bradbury and overwhelm everyone. Especially considering your last failures when invading Azeroth. <laughs> could have sent them in while the whole of Nighthold were still a threat, while Gul'dan lived, while we had to enter some dude's bath salt dream about a tree with eyes whispering yes. yes. While we were in High Mountain taking a walk with someone else's grandma. I don't give a shit, if you could do it after the death of Gul'dan, you could have done it at any given time. And then you blame Sargeras for your own shortcomings. Give him some slack. A part of the man's soul has been trapped in the fetus. Chaos will consume you! Oh yes, please save me from your constant failures. Well, perhaps you can't even follow through on that one, eh? I actually like you, Kill. I've always enjoyed the Draenei lore. My comment section might not take that very seriously sometimes, but, uh, I've... Which it clearly is. But it's at least some evidence to prove that I like your story. I just don't think it ended up in your favor, both with your goal to be cunning and the whole staying alive kind of thing. Thing. Thing, 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 thing. The only real crack is a voice crack. You are a walking failure in denial. But there's something I find to be an even bigger issue with old Kill Jaden here. The fact that he fell, pun intended, to the offers and threats of Sargeras because he didn't see any other way out. We learn this in the Tomb of Sargeras cinematic, which pretty much consists of Kill Jaden's final moments and Illidan carrying on with being one big cheesy one-liner. But the exchange between Velen and Kill Jaden, if Velen's hand motion counts as exchanged information, leads us to believe that Kill Jaden kinda didn't want to join the Legion, but just kinda felt like he had to. Or else he would burn. He saw how powerful Zagaris was, he knew what he had at his disposal. So anything but accepting the Titan's offer seemed to be a death sentence. To me it looked like he felt some sort of regret, perhaps remorse for what he had done. Which is... well... So I totally called it in my 7.2 video. The Kakyu theory, both in this and the Murlocs, ended up being more truthful and relevant than I could have hoped for. I actually like this final touch to Kill Jaden's story, literally, as I feel like it gives him some more character. Nobody likes a one-dimensional villain who is totally evil with no other goal in life than to be evil, with no other reason than just to be evil. It's nice to see how they turn Kill Jaden from being a power-seeking jerk to actually have some emotion other than anger, fear, regret, and perhaps some 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 sadness. And the fact that he didn't scream like the other two pussies before him makes me sad that he uh, can't make a return anymore. Unless Bliss retcons again. As that would have perhaps uh, brought back the two old best friends back together again. Oh, and speaking about best friends, look at this shit. Velen, formerly best friend. Archimonde, best friend. It's like best friend is a title or something. Archimonde just swooped it from Velen uh, when Velen didn't want to become a demon. You're my best friend. Wait, you're a dick. No, he's my best friend. It just feels like something taken straight out of kindergarten. With that said, I hope you enjoyed this little side project of mine, as I actually just wrote this in one night, mainly because I thought I'd see if the Kakio genes are even able to produce decent content in a short amount of time. Thanks to all my patrons who saw my last video, thought they'd support a very skeptical stick man, and gave some of their real life currency to help him spit out some more videos at a steadier pace than ever. You'll see. Thanks for watching, and uh, see you soon with a very depressing video. Thank you.